from Hilltop Tulips and today I'm going to be showing you my by far favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe. I love making chocolate chip cookies with my grandma and my mom so I thought why not find a recipe of my own. That's what I'm going to be showing you guys today is my favorite one. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the ingredients so you can get what you need ready. You're going to need a cup of salted butter which would be two sticks, two sticks, there you go, you need two sticks of butter. Um, I like them to be softened so that I can beat them easily. And then you're going to need white sugar and brown sugar and you're going to need a cup of those each. So I have my sugar here. Then you're going to need two teaspoons of vanilla extract two large eggs, three cups of all-purpose flour, which I have here. You're going to need a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of sea salt. You can use table salt or iodized salt. Um, I use pink Himalayan salt. Um, you're also going to need 12 ounces of chocolate chips. So I have that bag and then I have a little bit more so I can put them on um, the tops before I put them in the oven so it'll you know melt and it'll be on top so you can see them. It just looks pretty. So you're going to need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've already done that and you're going to want to go ahead and have a pan um, lined with parchment paper. So I've done that as well. And in a separate bowl, you can mix your flour and your powders, but I have them in two bowls. That's fine. So I've put in my sugar into my cup of butter, and I'm going to cream them together now. I'm going to use my beater for that. A good idea um, would be to mix it up with a spoon just to get it, you know, kind of combined so it's not just sugar and then butter and you want to get them kind of combined before you beat it because then your sugar will fling everywhere. So make sure you mix it in with your butter a little bit before you beat it so that it will be kind of sticky and not fly everywhere. going to put in my two eggs or two, and then my two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'm going to do that right now. This is a half a teaspoon so I'm going to put four but it's still going to wind up two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That's roughly two teaspoons. That's good. We're gonna add in our eggs, so two eggs now. Okay. Once again, I'm going to just kind of get it a little bit mixed in, just enough so it doesn't fling everywhere. That should be good enough for right now. Okay, so after you mix in the eggs, it should start to get a little bit lighter and get more fluffy. So that's the kind of consistency right here you want. So I'm now going to mix in our flour and the rest of our dry ingredients. Ooh, that was a big, big poof. Okay, so 
over here. And then in here we just have our baking soda, baking powder, and our salt. Go ahead and pour that in here. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to just mix this up. No need to beat it or anything. Mix it up. It is now thoroughly mixed through all the dry ingredients, so I'm going to go ahead and put on in our 12 ounces of chocolate chips. We're going to go ahead and mix that in thoroughly. So you can put half of this in a freezer bag because this does make a lot of cookies. So you can either half the batch or you can put it in a freezer bag and stick it in your freezer and then you can thaw it out and cook it again or bake it again, sorry. You can bake it again and it'll taste just as delicious. Um, so yes, it does thaw well. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll go and just make a half batch for right now. to put just like a little spoonful size, tablespoon size, and I'm going to just stick it on there. Might make a bigger cookie than expected. Okay, so I've put the cookies on the pan, and I'm now going to take my chocolate chips and put maybe four on top of them. I'm just kind of scatter it around. Okay, maybe one more than four. Put it right on top. Just kind of stick it in there. So give it that nice little chocolate chip look on the top so you'll be able to see the chocolate chips. And now I'm going to stick these in the oven. So you can do 8 to 10 minutes and then check on them. And you can put them in there till the outside or just like right around it is golden brown. And that will make sure they're very chewy and, and gooey and nice. So gonna go ahead and wait for them to cook and I'll be right back with you guys for the finished result. I'm back and I brought a guest here, Elizabeth from Hilltop Tables, and we're going to be trying them. I let them cook in the oven for about 10 minutes and they look delicious so let's go ahead and try them. Here you can have that one now. Just try it. Mmm. Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. Is it soft? Mm-mm-mm. Yep. There's stuff I want in it. It's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. She is just a munching over here. It's delicious.
thank you guys for watching me make these cookies and I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. So I'll see you later guys. Bye. Can we say bye? Bye. Bye. Thank you.